What up guys, welcome back here to another episode. Before we go ahead and just roll this, I just wanna let you guys know real quick, you guys know I've been trying to stay dialed on these videos, like, like post a lot more content, be consistent. I even said in the last vlog, I was like, guys, I wanna do more, but it's tough because of the editing, and then I don't wanna feel like it's repetitive. But anyways, long story short guys, I think we're coming to a resolution where it's like, damn, we figured it out. I'm trying out a new editor for this vlog, okay? Cause guys, if I'm being real, I edit all my own shit. Like pretty much all the videos you guys have ever seen since I've moved to LA, I've edited all those videos and it's really time consuming and it actually makes it really difficult for me to like, you know, run a business, do all this shit. Um, shout out my boy Sasha for connecting me with Luca and big shout out to Luca for editing this video. And we're gonna go ahead and give it a try and if you guys are fucking with it, Show my boy Luca some love in the comments. Let me guys know if you guys are fucking with this video because if that's the case, we're gonna get him to just keep running it and I'm gonna be cranking out videos. So let's fucking go. I'm gonna go ahead and get in this video, you guys. Big drop today as well. We'll get more into that later. But yeah, enjoy the video, guys. Three, two, one. What up gang? Today is a new day, it is Sunday today, but the beauty of today's Sunday is that it's hitting a little different than normal. Why? Because my family is in town and for those of you who know, Sunday is always family cook at home dinner. So for the past few days, my mom and dad have actually been staying at a hotel closer to Kai because Kai and I live on opposite sides of town. And now they're checking out of the hotel and they're gonna be staying with me for the next few days. So I gotta do some grocery shopping before they pull up because we're gonna be cooking a big fam dinner tonight. But before that, you guys know we stay dialed and what do we do when we're dialed, bro? We run. Something that Corey said to me the other day was, don't think about the fact that it hurts. Think why, why you're here. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you be in the gym and you're pushing that last rep, it's just burning, or you're on that run, and you're like, fuck, I'm only halfway. But that's why you're here. It's supposed to feel like that. Remember why you're here. Let's go, baby. Holy fuck. Bro, that heat was insane. Look at this shit. Soaked. Fucking drenched. Absolutely drenched. Look at this shit. I love wearing like the Nike tights, like tiny little tidy whities and like little running shorts like this for running. They're just by far the most comfortable. But the only thing, if you don't own a pair, you have to be comfortable with the fact that if you're running outside, especially with a shirt off, your dick bulge is gonna show. Yeah, okay, you have to be comfortable with your dick bulge showing, but like, bro, you also gotta remember, if you're worried about people that you don't even fucking know on the street, randoms, Maybe checking out your fucking dick bulge, but probably not. When it's in its smallest shrinkage form, dude. Like, think about it. You're training, bro. Your dick is anything but stretched out. It's in its smallest fucking form, bro. It's curled up into its body. Like, if anyone is judging you, being like, oh, like, I can see his dick bulge shoot through his shorts and it's not really hitting, then, bro, trust me, you don't care about those people's opinions. Woo! That was a big-ass 4.1-mile run. Check the time, not bad considering I had strep throat the last couple of days and I still technically have it recovering off of antibiotics. So I'm super happy, super proud. Time to shower up, do a little bit of grocery shopping, spend some family time. Sunday fun day, baby. Let's fucking go. We got all the groceries, as you can see. The family is stocked up. Can you tell us what we're making right now? Well, I'm making a little bit of a la vongole, which is my favorite. Oh, you have chili, son? Yeah. Here. The clam pasta. Oh, you don't have the red, red chili. This is good, actually. Okay. Frying pasta. I'm gonna check the steak. This steak, you got at least, at least 20 minutes resting. Yeah? Would be the best, yeah. So tell us what we're doing. Some broth that I cooked with clams earlier. White wine. Cook it down, cook it down. Pasta, cook it all together. Dad, because you do so much filming with Jet, yeah. what would you say the difference is? Like, okay, now you're just cooking and doing your thing. Yeah. What would you say the difference in feeling is when Jet's standing in front of you holding the camera versus me? How is it different? Uh, I want to, like for you, I want to make sure the table is clean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, it's just like, you and Jet have a very different style, right? You're a little bit more kind of like that, uh, 
very preciseness what you're doing interviewing style Jet is like yeah, okay next <laughs> now you know what son we're gonna go to eat So we're back at it. We are back at Jared's crib. You guys see who it is, don't need any introduction, All right? Do you need an introduction though or not? I don't know, I might. <laughs> <laughs> so Anu's in town visiting me right now. Lived in LA for a little bit. You guys saw we've been running the vlog, or we've been running lots of golf, this and that, but he had to move to Austin, you know, for work shit. But now he's here back visiting at Jared's crib right now. But check it out guys, look how fucking insane this looks. This is a three pound Tomahawk Snake River. American Wagyu beef. Yeah, there we go, American Wagyu. So first, you know, just a little bit. You wanna spread around, you always use your hands for the meat. You wanna touch your meat, feel your meat, Mo uh, massage your meat. Get the other side. Also, it's so thick, you wanna make sure to like season it right. Oh yeah. We gotta get a good fucking crust on that, eh? Yeah. Call this one the crusty crab because this one's gonna be crusty. Season both sides up for sure. Yeah, it's too thick. Fuck this with the pasta and the shrimp yeah, with the, the pesto. Really like the pesto. Dude, the pesto looks crazy. I no, it's insane. Oh, really? You yeah. That for me. Yeah, no, I brought, I'm gonna leave the whole thing. All right, we're seasoning up the shrimp right now. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, pepper. Go ahead and mix this up. It's ready to go. We'll go ahead and set that aside, as you can see. The tomahawk is ready to go. We got the pasta water about to boil. We got some salt, a little bit of, what's in there? What's in uh, the Italian spice mix, olive oil, salt, and a little bit of cayenne pepper too. Feel that, okay. Got some fresh bucatini right here, okay. From Italy. Basically just got the cheese, butter, all that. It's gonna be one whole big thing. So, you guys see what it is, man. Do Look at this plate, guys. Insane. Wow. How is it? Everything insane? Mm -hmm. So good, bro. It's amazing. I haven't even tried the steak yet. Bro, when you first tried it, your reaction, I was like, oh, I don't know if it's gonna be good, but it's fucking insane. Mm. Wow. Bro. It's probably one right? of the best steaks I've ever cooked, to be honest. Oh, bro, the amount of juiciness in that steak is fucked. And the flavor, too. Bro, mm. probably one of the best steaks I've had, honestly. Mm. <laughs> it's actually insane. Oh my god, bro. This real tree shit that I've been working on is going crazy, guys. So I'm gonna go inside and share with you guys the first round of production that we're running on these bad boys. Let's go. Pants are ready to go. We're going crazy this year, guys. Hope you guys know this shit was not easy. A lot of steps were involved in being able to achieve the real tree print on the back of this tee and the front, actually. What up, guys? Just wanna let you guys know that as of Friday, September 29th, 12 p.m. Eastern time, live on the website, link down below in the description. Everything you guys see behind me is live now, okay? Starting with the pants, right? Guys, this fabric and material, check it out, the ones that I'm wearing. This is actual real tree from real tree itself material. Okay, don't get fooled by a bunch of the fakes out there that are doing those, you know, copy prints. This is real distressed real tree material. All right? Check the fit. I'm wearing size large. Waist on a size large is a 34. Check it out, all right? Head to the website and you guys can see the size chart as well as our Instagram. Moving on. We're dropping the real tree print hoodie. We got the small logo on the front, big logo on the back. 
Check it out. Same thing in the army green. Same thing in the beige as well, guys. We got the glow in the dark. Classic Trinity Records 2018 established millennium hoodies. Check it out. This is a vintage black wash. Kind of a like boxy, comfy, wide fit. Let me just, I'll try that on after so it doesn't die. And then we also got the two hats, guys. Two different variations of the real tree hats. We got the neon orange print with the full real tree. We got the Bellwood side hit right there. Also got the Bellwood side hit on this one. This one's more of like a half real tree, I guess you could call it. All this stuff is live on the site right now. I'm gonna go ahead and get into this video. Raise it up. Your boy is playing golf today. Fuck, the hair is not hitting. I gotta cop a hat at the fucking pro shop, bro. It ain't hitting today. I thought it was gonna hit, but it's a little bit Alfred-y. Anyways, um, it's been, bro, like, literally, it's been eight weeks, two whole months since I last played golf. So of course, guys, the expectations gotta be low. We gotta go into it with an open mindset, chill, just have a fun time, not stress about the score, none of that shit, all right? So Mountain Gate, baby, first time playing golf in two months, let's go. Here back at the crib and as you guys can see your boy got the fades dialed in today big shout out to my boy Caesar for lacing me on the sides but as you guys know we stay dialed with the molly and if I'm gonna call someone to keep me dialed you already know who that is it's my boy Keon what up my boy Keon pulled up you see what it is we're good about to get this haircut in we've been dialing in the molly Keon been on that grind. We've been killing it, bro. So let's fucking go. All right, guys. So this is what we are doing right now. We're going to go ahead and just kind of, you know, season up the ends. But, you know, the molly has been a whole, you know, kind of process. And Keon's been keeping me dialed with that. And so that's what we're doing right now. We're just going to go ahead and, you know, season up the ends. You guys see it's getting a little bit long. And, you know, when it gets a little bit long, it tends to get, as we've said, a little bit far quality, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and dial that in. Let's go, baby. Dialed, bro. I don't even know what that is. It's not even really a molly. It's like a, you know. Shout out to my boy Keon for pulling up. You already know what the fuck it is when we be getting in that molly dialed shit. You already know what the fuck thing I'm up in a guan around here, my guy. Yo, big shout out to my boy Keon. Thank you for coming through. Thank you for dialing in the molly. Anything you want to say, bro? No. Oh, bro. Yeah, all right, fuck it. All right. No. I'm not good. Come on. It's all good, bro. Fuck it. Love always, bro. Thanks, dude. Have a great night. Thank you. Thank you. 